recently built a farm in Bloxburg, and today I invited one of my subscribers to help me decorate the farm. And then at the end of the video, I'll actually be inviting you guys to come to the official farm opening in your best animal costumes. So if you guys would like to participate in a future video like this, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel or for an extra chance, you can join my channel membership, but that is totally up to you. But before we get started, it is currently the 3rd of October, which means today's daily costume is, as you can tell, we are clearly dressed up as a Barbie and Ken because yeehaw, cowboy, horses. So with that being said, yeehaw, and let's get started. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is, ah, whoa, 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 why are you running? Why are you running? This is Caff, and they will be helping me today. So here is the game plan. I will be decorating the inside of the greenhouse. Da 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 da. We have someone who built this little farmhouse here, and this is what Caff will be decorating. Caff will be decorating the inside. Whoa! Whose horse is that? Whose horse is that? Whoever put a horse there last episode, that actually scared me. I'm also locking Ken inside this farmhouse. We've also got the shed over here, which Kath will also be decorating. Pretty spacious shed. Might even turn this into a garage, to be honest. And then finally, we have the red barn. Why am I, why am I talking in a cowboy accent right now? So yeah, we've got the inside of the barn, which I'm going to do. It's pretty big in here. As you can see, it's literally two stories. So yeah, we've got a pretty, pretty big job. All right, cowboy, let's get started. Okay, so while Kath works on the farmhouse or the shed or whatever they're doing, I think the first thing I'm going to do is this barn because I'm actually super excited to get the barn done. I actually built a barn not long ago in Minecraft. I love how I say not long ago. I literally built it 10 years ago. <laughs> oh yeah, not long ago, guys. So we have like a nice footpath here. And then these on the left are going to be like the stables. First, we can add the floor. And then we can add a few dirt piles and kind of make this so it looks like hay. Oh my god, hay. Get it? Because hay, horses eat hay. Okay, I'll shut up. Also, when Calf joined my server, they were dressed in this costume right here and I thought they were dressed as an egg. I literally go, are you dressed as an egg right now? She goes, no. It's so embarrassing. I thought she was dressed as an egg. Anyway, she was starting to get stinky and, um, and I'm like, Calf, girl, do you have Marvelous Moods? And she goes, no. And I'm like, do you want me to buy it for you? So I bought her Marvelous Moods and you know what? I think she likes it. <laughs> Stinky. Okay, there's like different ways we can do this barn. There's this barn that I saw and I thought this was so cool. It's like a nice modern barn. And then like this is what the outside looked like and I absolutely loved this. So I think we're gonna do something like this. Even though the inside of the barn is red, we're gonna change the inside to white. And for the fences, I wanna do something like this. This is so cool, but Bloxburg doesn't have fences like this. It's fine. When life doesn't give you fences, make your own fence. I don't know how on earth I'm gonna do this. Okay, maybe plain quarter fence and then add a metal fence on top of this. Oh, wait, wait, it's low key working. Previously on will it work or will it flop? Lately, all of my builds have been flopping, but not today, ladies and gentlemen, not today. All right, some pillars in between the fences and I feel like we need a door here. And then just add this rural sliding door. And at the top here, we're gonna have an opening because I want there to be as much oxygen in this stable as possible. Arch, bada beam, bada boom, little outdoor wall lamp. And boom, we've got the little layout of the stable. Usually in barns, the floor's not covering like the entire section of the barn. I think it only covers like this section. Oh, we also need to figure out where the ladder's gonna go. Wait, why is there no ladders? Oh, maybe that's because you spelled ladder wrong, you fool. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. When I'm building in Bloxburg, I feel like I'm so slow. I, I feel like I really need to hurry up, especially when I'm building with other people. Like they're so fast, I feel like a little snail. Good thing about building a stable is once you have like the first stable done, pretty much all you gotta do is like copy the rest. This is making me want Want to drop everything and live on a farm. Oh, why is that lighting so spooky? That is like <laughs> terrifying. I want it very light in the barn so the horses do not get scared. Now, what we're going to have inside of these barns, we're going to have some little hay bales right here. And you're probably like, Alaska, those are towels. They are not hay bales. You know what? Leave me alone, okay? <laughs> Don't judge! Also, in this photo I'm seeing, as you can see, they've got like some nice structure at the top. I want to kind of achieve this using large square beams. Will it work? Maybe, maybe not, but we will see. One thing with using structural beams though, is that they are so expensive. $585 for this little beam. This beam better have like secret gold in it that I don't know about. Okay, I've got the structural beams all done and each barn needs their own light. So I'm just gonna place these wall lamps in here. Are they expensive? Yes, but it's fine because I want more horses living in luxury. 
Now that we've got the first bit of the barn done, let's check on Kath. Oh, damn. Okay. We've got a nice little scrumptious farmhouse coming along. Of the fireplace on the corner. Now I just have to place this bit of the barn on the left side, which is very boring because you've seen me do it for the past, like, 10 minutes. So I'm going to speed speed. And just like that, boom, we have the bottom bit of the barn all complete. Oh my god, wait. You know what I just realized? I'm actually so stupid. You're going to laugh at me. Just realized Boxberg has hate. Well, now all we have to do is add our fake horses. Woo! Add a little semi-transparent decal. Boom, we've got our little horse. No matter how many starts I get, there's always the same ending. Might even add donkeys in here as well. I actually used to have a pet donkey. It was a very strange time in my life. Usually barns like way more dirtier. So I'm just going to use a bunch of like dirt piles and add them everywhere. I have actually been to a barn once. And some of them used to actually have these benches at the front of the stable. Just in case you need to like change your boots or something. Ooh, and some weirer barrels to pick up the horse poo. If you guys think picking up dog poo is hard, all I have to say to you is um, don't have horses. You know what I'd love to live in? A barn house. Like buy a barn, but like transfer form it into a house. I feel like that'd be so cool. Like imagine just saying, oh yeah, I live in a barn by the way. Like I would sit by this window and just read a nice book all day. Now, if you didn't know, the top bit of the barn is usually just like storage. We're going to keep it very simple. What we're going to do is stack a bunch of hay bales. Hay bales are like so heavy, by the way. We have to like collect our hay once a week and it's so heavy. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. Too damn bad. And they're literally stacked up like a mountain. You know what this looks like right now? A week bix. Wait, did other countries have week bix or is that just Australia? <laughs> Alright, so we've got all the hay. What else do we need in a shed? Oh, we can have some apples for the horsies. And then a few trash cans up here. This is where we can place all the pellets. And just like that, I think the top bit of the shed is all complete. So now we have to work on the greenhouse. But before we do that, let's have a look at Calf. Oh, Calf? Yes, ma'am. This kitchen is serving. Calf's probably like, can you stop staring at me, you weirdo? All right, now for the greenhouse. Guys, I'm actually so scared today. My fan stopped working and it's meant to be, I kid you not, 39 degrees Celsius, which is 102 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, it's meant to be very hot today and I'm kind of scared. My fan stopped working and I'm kind of just like, oh my God. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, so here's the game plan for the shed. I have a vision in my head, okay? So we have a nice tree, smack bang in the middle, a little fence around it. And this could be like the statement piece of the greenhouse. So then all around the greenhouse, we can just have a bunch of pots. I would actually love to own my own little greenhouse one day. Like, I feel like that'd be so cool. Okay, what should we have in these gardens? Maybe some mushrooms? I'm also kind of scared because I did tell you guys to show up in your best animal outfit. And a little birdie is telling me that I'm going to be seeing some spider costumes. I don't want to spend too much money on plants because I have a feeling you guys are going to sell them. I remember once, you guys want to know something really sad. I remember I spent like three grand on um this cute little flower bouquet in Bloxburg and I hosted an event and you guys want to know what you done? Sold all the flowers. Oh, I love sunflowers. I think they are beautiful. You know what I don't love though? The prices of sunflowers. Why are you so expensive? Okay, we also need to fill up these shelves. Need a bunch of seed packages, some garden equipment, some good old soil bags. You know, why use soil bags when you can just use horse manure? And you're probably like, Alaska, ew, that's gross. A horse manure is actually very good for gardening plants. Why, why am I talking about horse poo right now? Just get on with the video. I would also like to have a public service announcement. I am refusing to leave my house during summer. Literally every single time I leave my house, I see a snake. Like yesterday, I left the house. Do you guys want to know what I saw? A python. You guys know how big pythons are? Literally like pooed my pants. Oh, we can have a little beehive house. I hate bees. To the bee community, please don't cancel me. I love bees. Last thing we're going to add to this greenhouse is some LED lights to make it feel nice and cozy. And boom, we've got our cute little greenhouse. So now that the greenhouse and the barn is finished, we're going to help Kath finish up her little farmhouse. Okay, so far, this blue kitchen is serving. I just said, Kath, I'm going to help you finish, Bay, And she says, please. You know, I have a feeling we need some more windows in here. Every farmhouse definitely has these chandeliers. Not only do they have these chandeliers, they're also mixed with like traditional chandeliers. It looks like really cute. And I just realized, where on earth is the bathroom going to go? We might cut this up, make this a hallway. This can be the bathroom and then this can be the bedroom. It's kind of like a cute little farmhouse. It's not too big. But, like, you don't really 
really need a big farmhouse. Like personally, if I lived on a farm, I wouldn't want to have a big house either. Okay, the lounge room's looking cute. I want to keep it as simple as possible. I feel like the least furniture in here, the better it's going to look. And also, side note, we're not even finished this farmhouse, by the way. And all of you guys are already here joining. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can already see some animal costumes right now. Yeah, this farmhouse is low-key serving right now. Looks like Kaf is still working on the kitchen, which is turning out so cool, by the way. I've never thought of having a blue kitchen before. That's awesome. This little section in here is where I want to have a reading nook. And to make this a little reading nook, maybe a bench in the middle, maybe something like that. That's kind of country. Wait, did Kaf add a dining table? No, she did not. Well, in that case, we can have the dining table right here where we sit and talk about the farm. All right, this section of the farmhouse is done. Kaf is working on her kitchen and the bedroom. And lastly, we've got the shed over here. I think I'm going to get rid of of this shed and actually turn it into a garage. It's gonna be like a two person garage so we can fit two cars. And it will be the same texture as the house and everything. And it kind of just looks like an extension of the house. Okay, so I'm going to quickly finish up this garage and let Kath finish up the bedroom. And then it is time to open up the server to you guys. And uh, as the looks of it, you guys are pretty excited to come on. Someone just goes, I know you're watching. Should I just scare everyone by adding like a massive skeleton here? Boom. <laughs> that person... <laughs> Did you see that person? They went back. Oh, that was crazy. Be afraid. Be scared. All right, so the farm is all complete and comes to a total of $659,000. That is pretty impressive. As you can see, all of you guys have showed up to my farm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> is that a spider? No, get away from me. I don't want any spiders at this farm. Thank you very much. You know, surprisingly, I'm actually very intrigued. Welcome to the greenhouse. Ignore the stinky. Who let the ducks out? I love how everyone's just like staring at the window. Drico the horse. My horse! Oh my gosh, Drico, he's back. Do you guys remember my horse? He sadly got disconnected. So yeah, this is the greenhouse. Very impressed with how this turned out. I didn't even want to open this door because there's literally spiders as soon as I walk out. We have someone matching with me today, Miss Caitlin. Okay, then next we have the red barn. Back. Oh my gosh, free the animals. Don't protest on my barn. Anyway, I've got the red barn over here. I think this is like my favorite bit of the farm. Okay, I don't, I don't think I a donkey. Anyway, here is where we have all of our horses. That's not a horse. That is a penguin. You are not a horse. Why are you here? So yeah, a bunch of horses over here. What I love about this is that you can actually go into the state. That is not a What is this? I am Jose Mourinho. Anyway, what I love about these stables is that they're so spacious. Like you've got this bit back here and then you have the back bit. I don't know what you, I think that is a duck dressed in a wedding gown. I don't know, but I'm utterly confused. Then we have the second floor of the stable. Ken, hello. Of course Ken's over at the stables. I was like, Ken, who are all these girls, huh? So yeah, this is where we have all of our hay bales. I don't know how, but like so many of you guys are on the roof. I don't know how you got up here. What are y'all doing up here? Free the animals. You are trapping the animals. Free the animals. Guys, I think there's a protest happening at AV farm right now. Yeah! <gasps> what is that? And lastly, we have the farmhouse. It's pretty simple in here, but it has everything you need. The farmhouse isn't meant to be like super detailed. This person is staring into my soul right now. And then back here, we've got Kaf's blue kitchen. But I thought this was kind of cool. Nice touch. And then we've got her little pantry. Bathroom back here. Oh, oh. I see how it is. Ken, do you want to explain what this photo on the wall is? And lastly, we have the bedroom. I think this is my favorite room in the entire farm. It's just so cozy. Like when I picture old rustic farmhouse, this is the bedroom that I picture. So I like to think this is a painting of the farm. So why is there a turkey on my bed right now? Ew, why does it blink like that? It's so scary. I'm literally getting chased by a burger right now. Um. <laughs> Also, as I was looking at my neighborhood, I saw someone have this house and um, I just want to know what's what's going on. What's going on in here? What is this? What is this? Okay, I think I'm officially going to have nightmares. Okay, and that makes an end to our farm series. Thank you to Kaf or, well, Ken for helping me decorate the farm. And a huge thank you to you guys who watched the farm series. This was actually super cool. You all showed up in like the coolest outfits ever. I think this is my favorite outfit today. We have a full buffed out chicken. We've got Rico the horse. I don't know what's... I don't know... Okay, I don't even want to know what that is. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to be in a future video like this, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!